Thomas has fallen, sir. We can't hold them. It appears, Uxbridge, we're losing the battle. Hey, so welcome to Check Your Leader TV, and um, if you've not already seen parts one, two, and three, I suggest you go back and have a look at that before you join us for this part four of our Katra Bra game. Otherwise, it's probably not going to make a whole lot of sense. So, welcome back, and now we're uh, up to turn 10, and we're at the very beginning. Um, well, we're not at the very beginning, we're at charge phases. Um, so charge declarations, um, the Allies have no charge decks, um, the French have a couple. First of all, um, this battalion here is going to charge. Um, now I'm not sure if they'll reach, but um, we'll, we'll check on that, but there's a charge there. Uh, there's a charge over there where that battalion is going to charge. And there is a charge with those lancers charging uh, down onto the Black Watch. So they're the three charge decks from the French. So um, let's go through it. Okay, so they're charging across the stream. Um, is that a flank charge? I think we'll dice for that. But I'm pretty sure that's a flank charge. But... Well, the majority of the French unit's going to be behind the flank. Anyway. Um, charge range for a column is uh, 9. Um, plus 3, so 12 inches. But they lose half their movement crossing this stream. So 9 uh, half uh, is 4.5. 4.5 and four and will get them across the stream. And then that leaves them three. So seven and a half is what their charge range is. It's not even six. So no problem at all. So um, we'll charge. That will cause these guys to um, evade. Um, yeah, because they'll have to be, they'll, they'll have to test for being charged as well. Because they're going to go through the enemy skirmishes onto the flank of those that line. So let's see how that pans out. Okay, so... The charge is, it, well, obviously, it's three inches to these guys here, but because it's crossing a stream, it's more than that. So they have to do a, a, um, a discipline test. They only have two casualties on them. They're classed as reservists. So let's see how those guys bear up. Just a straight up discipline test. Seven. So they passed. So they will fire at the. Um, they'll fire at these guys coming in. Okay, so that's three casualty dice, and then they'll evade. Hitting on fives and sixes. No hits. They got a one, two, and a one. Okay, so now they evade. So these guys now move to the three inch mark, which basically is just on the other side of the stream here. They're going straight ahead. And this will definitely be, I think everyone could agree, a flank attack on the Royal Scots. Okay, so let's go through the charge procedure here. All right, so we'll just go through the uh, the charge procedure. All right. Um, we'll do the French first. They're not elite, they're not veteran, they're line. Uh, general attached. No, they're just going by themselves. Charging on. Uh, nope. Not heavy cavalry, not lances, blah, blah, blah. They're not unformed. 
because, uh, well, are they unformed? Actually, they're not. And there's nothing about crossing a stream that unforms them. Um, infantry in column versus square, infantry in line. Nope. 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 Casualties in charge, are in, they received none. Unit casualties, they've only got one. Blah, blah, blah. None there. Brigade's not hesitant. Defended, flanked. Okay. So there's nothing there for them. All right. Uh, so zero modifiers. Um, for the Brits being charged, um, they're veterans, so it's a plus one. Um, they're not unformed, but they are being charged in the flank, so it's a minus two. So it's a minus one. So the difference is minus one. Um, yeah, it's a minus one. So let's roll the dice and yeah. see how they react. The French will be the black, and the British will be the purple. So that is eight to seven. The okay. results here now. Uh, it's a difference of one. Uh, infantry versus infantry. Attacker, melee with alarm, defender, melee unformed. All right. Let's put okay, that so down. The next video, the uh, next charge we have is these guys. So the, the first part of their uh, move, they'll wheel. So they've got six inches of um, the first six inches of their charge is a wheel. And then the remaining 15 is straight ahead. So they're going to charge downhill at the, the uh, black watch. So we'll get them to the three inch mark. Toot toot. Pop, pop. And the other charge is these guys charging them. Yeah, no worries at all. It's not a flank charge, but hey, they'll get them within three inches. Now these brigades are gonna have their brigade commanders attach because they have the glory thing happening. So he's charging with them with glory. He's charging with them with glory. Okay. Now, um, obviously, one option is to counter charge, but the counter charge, they'd, have, they'd unform themselves. Um, they've got three casualties. They've got, they're, they're reservists. These guys are veterans, so they won't counter charge. Um, all right, let's see what happens here. All right, let's do this one here first. Um, these guys here, they're veterans, so it's a plus one. So far, so good. Ah, but they have to do a discipline test first because their cavalry, uh, their infantry in line being charged by cavalry. Um, so let's do a discipline test for these guys first. They're veterans, so it's a plus one. They're not unformed. Line to square when charged. It's a minus one. So it's a straight dice roll. Let's see how they bear up. Four. Plus one is five. They just go unformed. All right. Not good. The Black Watch have gone unformed. Okay, so let's do... They're an unformed square. So let's go through the procedure. Okay, so first of all, they're veterans, so it's a plus one. Okay. So veterans are plus one. There's no generals attached. Uh, nothing there that applies to them. They're unformed, so that's a minus two so all up there are minus one but they are infantry in square so uh minus so they're back up to a plus one um 
no casualties on them, nothing. So it's just a straight plus one. So let's roll their dice first with a plus one. Okay, so they've got eight plus one takes them up to nine. Oh, slight mistake here, guys. Sorry, I just checked the fact. And um, if you're a infantry, if you're infantry in line, and you are testing for being charged by cavalry, and you go unformed, you go unformed in the formation that you are in. So the black watch were in line; they went unformed, so they remain in line, and but an unformed line. So basically, obviously, the officers screamed, "Form square, form square!" The troops were going, "What are they saying? What?" And basically, confusion reigns. They don't form a square. They're just a ragged, unformed line now. Um, so, yeah, they're not a square, they're a line. Uh, so instead of being at a plus one, they're rolling at a minus one. Their score is not uh, eight plus one, uh, nine. It's eight minus one, uh, seven. So let's have a look at the lances. They are... Uh, line, but the general's attached, so they're veterans. So that's a plus one. Their lances versus infantry is a plus two. Plus two. No casualties in the charge. That's it. So they've got a plus two. Plus two for the French. Eleven. So it's eleven versus seven. So that is a difference of four. So four plus cavalry Malay with Alan, defender Malay's unformed. Well, they're already unformed anyway. So the cavalry will get Ilan. Um, okay. Now the next charge to conclude is this one here. Um, defender reacts. Well, they would like to fire a volley um, or they could wheel and fire a volley, uh, because I think if they try to find, fire a volley, it's going to be out of their arc. So let's just get a 45 degree marker and Inside find Inside 45, but there's not much there. Um, so they might wheel first. This is where they're going to attach their uh, brigade commander. This will be the glory attachment. They're going to need it. Okay. Um, and they'll fire. So it'll be an inferior volley because they've moved. So an inferior volley firing at these guys. And they're going to have to share their hits across three units. All right. But the majority going on this. Ha. Huh, four. So... That volley was pretty much useless. They've just lost fire discipline. We won't worry about that because uh, they're going to be in hand-to-hand -hand shortly anyway. So let's do the charge procedure now. These guys are veterans, so it's a plus one, but they have a general attached, so they're going to be classed as elite. So they're going to get promoted to the next troop grade. So they're, it's a plus two so far. Um, they're not unformed. They're not infantry and square. Infantry in line versus cavalry, they're not square versus, they're not, nope. Uh, casualties in the charge, none on them. Unit casualties, they have five, so there's going to be, uh, they'll, they'll go from elite to veteran, so it's a plus one. Um, and that is it. So plus one. Let's roll their dice with a plus one. Okay, that's not bad. So six and three plus one is four, so they're at 10. These guys here, those Frenchmen, they're not, uh, they're not veterans, they're just line. Uh, but the attached general, is it, so they're classed as veteran because the general's attached, so it's a plus one. So plus one, they're not unformed, no casualties on them at all. Uh, Artillery casualties, nope, nope, nope. So it's just a plus one for the general attached. Oh, they've rolled an 11, which will take them up to 12. 
not a uh, it's not a um, natural 12 so there's no destiny thing there um, so they've beaten them by one infantry versus infantry um, attacker Malay with Alan um, defender will Malay unformed so these guys have gone unformed and these guys will Malay with Alan well, after all that, this is going to make for a very interesting round of Malay. Um, you've got the Black Watch here, unformed, um, but they are veterans, and they'll be fighting uh, Lancers with a general leading glory, and they'll have Alarm. You have the 44th um, with glory, uh, because their brigade commander is attached, and, and the Prince of Orange is right there with them as well, but they've gone unformed and they're getting attacked by a French column that's got glory and alarm. And then, of course, you have the 1st Regiment, the Royal Scots. They're being attacked in the flank. They are unformed, uh, and the French column is attacking them with alarm. So this will make for a very interesting round of hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat when it gets there. Um, next on the cards is movement. So we'll do um, Allied Movement, then French Movement. Okay, so we've conducted the Allied Movement. All we did is um, these skirmishes, uh, uh, this line here pivoted slightly to um, look towards uh, the threat. Um, the, the Brunswickers over here um, basically reformed. Um, and the cavalry have stepped back. Um, and uh, narrow their frontage just in case they need to come into action there. Um, in Catrabra itself, um, all we've seen happen is um, the Gordons have come out of Catrabra and um, this battalion here has moved in uh, to garrison it. Um, and that's pretty much all that's happened, the uh, retreat market will come off the 95th foot, of course. Um, and maybe the 95th will come out again. Um, who knows? But, yeah, um, I think it's all going to come down to the, the Malays here. Um, if, this, if this British brigade breaks, um, I think it'll be all over. Um, because the French will just swim... swim simply roll up. So now we'll just do the French movement. Basically, this battalion stepped back, created enough room on this small hill. The battery deployed. You deploy off the front of the... The way I work it is you deploy off the front of the lead element. So the limbers were up to here, so that's where they've deployed. Um, and 
essentially just did a lot of housekeeping over on the right flank. Uh, the French just sorted themselves out a bit there. Um, Campy's brigade is just uh, pressing forward. And Bashul's brigade is, uh, again, just hunkering down behind the hill, uh, waiting for the enemy's left flank to crack. And if that happens, then they'll come over the hill and um, together with the cuirassiers and sweep the allies from the field. Um, only shooting now is skirmisher fire, so we might as well get on with that. And off oh, the uh, Dutch-Belgian battery will uh, have a crack um, at these guys here. Uh, might as well provoke them a bit. All right, shooting. Um, there's three bases here. They'll drop one because they're shooting at... Um, um, shooting at these skirmishes in the woods so these guys here shooting at them uh, it's just 1d6 uh, hitting on fives and sixes oh that's a miss three here well I could shoot the battery. Um, but there are skirmishes to the front. Because these French skirmishes were supposed to have moved. Okay, so shooting at skirmishes, so that's two. Not one hit on these guys. Um, the battery, well, well, that's cl that's close range, so that's going to be two d six, and a casualty dice. Okay, so um, just a standard battery. Nothing to write home about, no casualties. They haven't moved. They're firing at deployed battery or skirmish, so it's a minus two. Um, minus two. So let's see, let's, let's see what they roll with a minus two. Well, that's a hit. Ooh, 10. Um, minus two is eight. Uh, close range fire, eight is three hits and a discipline test. So the first hit has to go on the skirmishes and then one on each battery. Okay, so now we have to do the discipline test for this battery. It's a straight dice roll. Um, 11, okay, so they're unfazed. Okay, so now it's the uh, the French to do time, turn to do some shoosting. Okay, so let's start in here. Um, some more shooting, just one dice at the uh, avant-garde. One, so that's nothing. Um, pretty sure that skirmish screen's gone, but anyway. Um, these French skirmishes, uh, basically one dice at those guys. One, nothing. Um, single skirmisher at the line there. Five, so that's one hit on them. Um, they're all engaged, can't shoot there. That battery's masked. The battery on the hill, um, I could risk firing, but they might go low on ammo or something like that. So, uh, hopefully next turn, the French will get uh, the initiative and they'll get the shoot first and they'll make mincemeat of that battery there. That's the hope anyway. Oh, I've, um, I've gypped these guys. This battery could shoot at them. And so could this. So a bit out of sequence, but these two batteries here could fire at these guys here. So it'll be long range, but hey, let's give it to them, eh? Because um, quite frankly, these guys need all the help they can get. Okay, so artillery firing.
this battery here uh, shooting at the battery on the hill um, or they could shoot at those those French columns over there um, one two or three and they'll engage in uh, counter battery fire one they're shooting at the battery okay so this battery first um, it's just a normal battery it hasn't moved um, it's not low on ammo it's shooting at a deployed battery so a minus two and the range is I'm thinking considerable Thirty-four. I'll check that again. Yeah, so almost thirty-five. So it's effective range. All right. So one battery firing at effective range minus two. This battery here. Three. Damn it. Um, Battery firing effective range three. They take a fire casualty, and these guys here. Wow, they've rolled a ten. That goes down to eight. Um, two. So they're now up to three hits, because they were engaging that battery and they were engaging that battery. Um, so they're up to three now. Three casualties on that battery so it didn't hurt okay so that's all the shooting and we almost forgot to uh, put the bounce through fire onto that French line behind the French Grand battery so we'll do right, that so now we've got to do the bounce through onto these guys here so four five or six and it's a hit on them it's six okay so they've picked up an extra hit so they're up to seven casualties. So now we're up to the Malay phase. And um, this is gonna be very, very critical. So let's start with the Black Watch. Okay, let's do the Black Watch's dice and then the Frenchman's dice. Black Watch, so they're infantry, so they get five dice. So one, two, three, four, five. So five dice to start with. Let's go through the sheet. Okay, so the unit is not elite, uh, or no, they're not heavy cavalry, they're not formed lances, they're not lances of foot, they're not a large unit, they're not a small unit. Attached general plus glory, uh, no. Uh, a morale grade above yeah, the opponent. Well, they're veterans and the lances are line. So that's another one. Um, meeting with Alan, uh, nope. Casualties, four plus. No, they only have one. Okay, are they unformed? Yes, so they lose one. Um, taking a BUA, first round only. None of those account, not flank or rear. Uh, okay, so that's it. So that's what they, they've got five dice. Um, the Lancers. Um, they're not heavy cavalry, they're not elite. They're not formed Lancers versus cavalry. Formed Lancers versus foot, they are. So they start off with five. And they get another two because they're formed Lancers versus foot. Um, they're not a large or a small unit. General attached plus glory. Yep, so they get another one. Uh, each morale greater pop. No, they're meeting with Alan. They have got Alan. So it's a plus one. Uh, if you note for two CDs, if infantry and attack column five only. Okay, so so it's one CD for the alarm. Um, 
The casualties, they have none. Uh, they're not unformed. They're not attacking a B. Okay, so there it is. It's five dice versus um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this will be probably brutal. Okay, and I've just realised you can only allocate one ADC to the glory tasking per division. So, um, Wathiers will be attached, but I won't be able to give him attached with glory. So, uh, they won't. They just won't have the glory roll. So it's eight versus five. The French are the black dice. The black watch are the purple dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six hits. One, two, three. That's three hits. So it's a difference of, um, that's a difference of three. A difference of three is um, cavalry versus, cavalry versus cavalry, or cavalry versus infantry. Uh, winner take the ground, losing infantry disperse. All right, that's pretty definitive. So the next melee is um, the 44th versus the French column. Okay, so let's go through it again this time. Um, the 44th are veterans. They have a general attached, so they're classed as elite. So that's going to be plus one CD. So they're going to get... Um, Five to start with. And then another CD for being elite. So that's a plus one. Um, actually, no, it's they're not elite, they're they're veterans. So the that only counts in the, the charge set. So, but they are a morale grade higher. So, uh, they're not elite or heavy, heavy carry, blah, blah, blah. Not large unit, not formed lances. General attached by Scory, yep. That's plus one. And then each morale, morale grade above, that's another one. Okay, so far so good. Um, Malaying with Alan, no, they're not. They have casualties. They've got five, so they lose one. Um, they're unformed, so they lose one. So they back down to five. So that's it. Now for the French, they get five to start with. Um, they're not elite, they're not heavy cavalry. They're not a large unit. Attached general plus glory. Yes. So there's another one. Uh, each morale grade. No. Meeting. Uh, Melaying with Alan. Um, if it's a column, infantry in attack column, um, they get two CDs. So they get another two. Um, casualties on them. None. They're not unformed. So that's it. So it's five versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's see how this pans out. Same as before. Black of the French. One, two, three, four, five versus five to two. That's a difference of three. Okay, so they've got to go, the first six inches is straight back. And then they'll go through a gap. So there and then through here. Basically, they'll retreat back to here. They'll take their five casualties. So that will take them up to a grand total of ten.
These chaps take the ground. They have four casualties on them. So that was a brutal, brutal tussle. These guys receive a retreat marker on them. And this brigade, PAX brigade is now faltering. And we have to find out if PAC has been knocked over. So let's check on that. All right, so let's roll to see if PAC's been hurt. Five. No, no, no hit on pack. So um, he will simply go back with these boys. We'll put him back here somewhere. The Prince of Orange needs to get out of Dodge as well. So he'll come back with pack. He'll end up back here in the center. Uh, those chaps have taken the ground. That leaves one more melee to go, but the brigade is now faltering because you've had a broken unit and one retreat result. So now it's the Royal Scots that have to fight. Um, so let's do the British first again. Five dice for them. And we go through it. Uh, they're not elite uh, infantry, no, they're not heavy cavalry, they're not formed lances, they're not large unit, not small unit. They don't have a general attached, no glory, each morale grade above the opponent. They are veterans, so they all get a plus one. But there's another dice for them. Um, they've only got two casualties with them, so they're fine. They're unformed, so they lose two. Oh, sorry, one. They lose one. Um, and they are attacked in the flank, so they lose another. Okay, the French, they get five dice off the bat. They're not elite heavy, uh, elite or uh, elite infantry or elite cavalry. They're not heavy cavalry. They're not formed lances. They're not formed lances versus foot. They're not a large unit or a small unit. They're not, they don't have a general attached. Each morale, morale, morale grade above. No, they are milling with a land and they are in a column. So they get another two. Um, attacking a BOA, attacking a strong point, attacking a rebel, attacked in flank. No, they're attacking in a flank. So it's four versus seven. All right. Let's roll those dice. And it's again... Flinch is black. One, two, three hits by the Anglais. One, two, two hits by the French. Well, check that out. Who would have thought? So, it's a plus one to the British. Um, the winner takes the ground, loser retreats. Okay, so the, the Brits will stay there unformed, uh, and the French will retreat. Okay, that's going to pop them out the back and they're going to unform a lot of, a lot of Frenchmen as they go. Well, well done the Royal Scots. You've got to give them their props. So they suffered two hits, so they go up to four. And um, the um, these guys will, have got to retreat, so they've got to go back 18. And, well, I'll, go un I'll just unform a lot of people as they go back. So they've driven them off.
uh, unformed them, unformed them. They're back there, retreated. They've got four casualties back there. And that's the end of the Malay phase, and that's the end of the turn. Okay, as before, French or white, off table ADC for the allies. The red one only works on a five or a six. Um, all the other dice, three plus. One, two, three, four, five. Got a double six, so that's good. That one comes good. And for the allies, one, two, three, four. And the rest missed. So it's, they've got four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four to seven. Okay, so let's start, um, there's seven ADCs I've given, one to Hubert, I've given, um, one to Soy, I've given one to Wathiers, plus a glory attachment, I've given three to the artillery, for a, um, artillery assault, plus a reroll, um, I think, I think that's that's all seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's roll for the French. Uh, let's do it. Let's do. We'll start from. Um, we'll start here with um, Wathiers. Five. He's good. Um, now, uh, Soy with a reroll. Yep, he's good. Um, Hubert with a re-roll. Oh, he's got a re-roll. Yep, he's good. Um, the, uh, oh, let's do with the uh, Jerome or Foy's brigade. No re-roll there. They're good. Campy. Hesitant. Uh, the Carassiers. They're good. Brashu in the woods. He's good. And the artillery assault with a reroll. They're good. So the French have a grand total of one hesitant. Well, the Allies only have four ADCs, so they're given one to the Demoralised Brigade and one to the Faltering Brigade and a re-roll on each one. And that's really all they can afford to do. So, um, let's roll for them, shall we? Okay. Um, uh, Merlin's Cavalry. They're fine. Uh, Kemp in... Catra Bra, they're fine. Um, the Brunswick Light Infantry Brigade, they're fine. The Brunswick Line Infantry Brigade, they're fine. The Dutch Belgians. That's cocked. Six, they're fine. Okay, so now we're up to the important ones. The two, um, let's try the um, Sax Weimar's Demoralised Brigade. Uh, four's not good enough, but they've got a re-roll. Five, okay. He's okay. And finally... Um, Pax Brigade. Uh, nope. And he rolls a six, so he's fine as well. Okay. So, we have a situation where 
the French are the minus one. So let's now roll for. Okay, these are the, um, the allies. The French. Okay, six and three is nine. Six and two. Um, it's a tie, which means the British have the initiative yet again. Charge declarations, and um, the only charge decks that the the allies have is with Merlin. So he's going to charge these lances because. Quite frankly, he's got nowhere else to go, and if he doesn't charge, they'll charge him, because they've got glory happening. So, that's the ally charge. Um, for the French... Yep. They're going to charge the Saxe-Weimar's uh, brigade, what's left of it. And These boys are going to charge as well. And... And that's it. That's all she wrote. So they're the charges. Okay, so the first charge is we start with the Allies and it's going to be uh, Melens Hazars charging uh, Wathier's Lancers. Now, they're just over three inches apart um, and the, the counter charge, these guys obviously want a counter charge and that, you don't test for a counter charge, it's just you just go through the charge results and the charge result will tell you if a counter charge was a, uh, effective or um, launched. So they're over three inches away. They have to be, uh, form troops have to be a minimum of three inches apart anyway. So it turns out they're just over three inches away anyway. So they are at the three inch mark already. And so now we go through the whole process. And cool. Um, let's, let's start with Melen's uh, chaps. Okay. Um, they're not elite, they're not veteran. They are line, because uh, they haven't sustained four casualties yet. Um, attached general, so they're classed as veterans because they've got a general attached. So that's a plus one. Uh, they're not heavy cav. They're not lances versus infantry. They're not campaign cavalry versus battle cavalry. Um, so there's nothing there. They're not unformed, not infantry. They're not line. Uh, square carry on narrower frontage. Well, they are on a narrower frontage, so that's a minus one. Um, that's it. They're not a faltering or hesitant brigade, so they've got a minus one on them. Now let's look at Wathier's lads. Their uh, line. Class is veteran, because there's a general attached. They're not charging on uh, camp ca campaign cavalry versus battle cavalry. Well, I'm pretty sure the French cavalry is campaign cavalry. So, plus one for being um, veterans. And they had a plus one for being veterans, but they're minus one for being on a narrower frontage. And so that is it. So it's, they have a plus one and they have a zero. 
neither have any supports, so it's going to be a straight dice roll. So the French will be the black. Okay, so uh, they got a five, the French have got a six, but they got a plus one. So that'll go up to seven. No re-rolls, seven to five is a difference of two. So a difference of two on the charge results. Cavalry versus cavalry. Attacker melee, defender, counter charge and melee. Actually, it's a, yeah, so it's this one here. So they're just gonna melee one another. Okay, so that's them done. So the next charge we'll go on with is um, Wathiers back in. They'll move to within the three inch mark. Six inches worth of wheeling and straight up the hill at these chaps. I have a bit of a sniffle happening. Oh no. Could it be the coronavirus? The Chinese Wuhan virus? The Chinese Communist Party virus? Or could it just be a cold? All right, so they've moved up to there. Let's go through the, uh, let's go through the charge. Okay, so uh, they're not elite, they're line. Okay. Uh, there's no general attached, they're not charging on, they're not heavy cavalry. They're lancers versus infantry, so they get a plus one. These guys want to form square, so they're not going to shoot, they're just going to um, conduct a formation change. And I'm pretty sure they just, because they're not in line, um, they can do it. But to be on the safe side, I'll just roll the dice. And if they fail, I'll then check to see if that's the case. So they're veterans, so it's a plus one. Well, they did roll a three. All right, so I better check. So any infantry being charged by cavalry, if they wish to conduct a formation change um, or even to fire, they have to pass a discipline test first. Fortunately for the Gordons, they were veterans, so that was a plus one. That took their three up to four, so they became an unformed column being charged by French lances. So um, I then did the uh, the charge um, roll and it turned out that the um, the net result was a um, difference of two to the uh, Scottish infantry. Uh, so the cavalry received a retire with one casualty and the defender stands. So um, they had to go back 18 inches. They picked up a casualty as they went back. Um, and um, so that was the, um, that was their effort at uh, trying to take down some Highlanders. It, that, that didn't work out very well. Okay, so this is the next charge. Um, basically, this is a, a French column. They're, I've done all the sums, they're at a minus two. And these guys are a minus two, so it's a dead straight roll. Um, the, the minuses for these guys, are, well, the pluses are that they're line, but they're upgraded to veteran because their general's attached. But they've got, um, so there's a plus one, but they've got minus one because of the, the level of casualties and then another minus two because they took three casualties in the charge. So minus two all up. Um, and the uh, Saxe-Weimar's guys have got uh, a minus one uh, they're, they're, they're minus one for being recruits. The general's attached, that takes them to zero. Uh, but their demoralised is a minus one and their casualty levels is another minus one. So both both units are a minus two. Um, the French are the black dice. Okay, so Sax Myanmar's guys are up by one. Um... They're not going to re-roll any. They're up by one. That's that's a that's good enough. Um, if they were to take any re-rolls, um, it it could go worse. Uh, so they don't want that. So 
So, charge results. Uh, is it negative one? Infantry versus the attacker volleys. Um, unformed. Um, it's a column. They get one CD. And the defenders just stand. So they'll just fire a, a, a volley at them. Six. Well, it's a hit. So they've taken a hit. And these guys go unformed. So the next thing we have to do is movement. And so we'll go with the allied movement first. Okay, so um, in the allied movement phase, this Brunswick Light Infantry Battalion has moved up in line towards um, the bridge. Uh, the 27th Jaeger have sidestepped, try to get in behind the rest of their brigade. Um, these guys are reforming. These guys are reforming. Um, and that's probably the extent of it. Now we'll do the French movement. French perspective, the only movement we've had is um, over at this side of the table. Um, Bashul's brigade is uh, stepped back to get themselves out of a, a bounce through range. The cavalry is slightly reoriented. These guys have just reformed. They can't go, they can't advance because they're um, on hesitant. These guys simply formed a line. Um, so they're not getting closer to the enemy, they're simply changing formation. Uh, this line stepped back, these guys have come forward, um, and the rest of Soy's brigade is advancing on, on his right. Um, and basically over yonder, um, all that um, Foy's brigade's done, previously uh, Jerome's, um, all they've done is... Um, basically advanced. And so that's the uh, that's the French movement. Now we go on a shooting. So the first shooting for the uh, for the Allies will be the skirmishers over here. Uh, might as well get their shooting done. So they'll fire. Okay so skirmisher shooting one shot in there, five, that's a hit on the French skirmishers. Um, another shot into those guys. Uh, nope. Okay, artillery battery, close range, minus two. Um, they're shooting at these guys here. 
Okay, so the CD missed. Um, they've rolled a five. Um, so that is going to be a close range artillery fire. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Minus two because it's a deployed battery. They've rolled a five, so it's a three close range battery fire. Three. Okay, they've taken it, they've inflicted a fire casualty on themselves with that very poor roll. Okay, so that's one hit on them. Bit of self inflicted pain. And now the line is firing at the skirmishers. Okay. So it's a steady volley, just a normal volley um, with a minus two. Ugh. They've rolled five, that takes them down to three. Um, standard volley, three or less, it's a fire discipline, so they've lost fire control. All right. Um, is there any other shooting? Yeah, well, the Royal Scots could fire, but it's a skirmish screen in front of them. Um, that's what they'd be shooting at, but hopefully they'll get some hits. It'd be an inferior volley. It's probably not worth shooting, so they won't. Which just leaves the allied batteries on the hill. Um, we contemplated firing the allied batteries on this ridge back here, but um, it's all, you know, effective range or long range, and it's minus twos. Um, yeah, it's probably not worth shooting, so they won't. Um, that brings us on to the French firing now. Um, okay, so th um, over here, we've got um, five bases of skirmishers. That's four CDs. Okay. Um, and they're going to fire at the, the first Royals. <laughs> okay, four hits. One, two, three, four. That hurt. Okay, so the next to shoot will be... They've moved into line. It's an inferior volley, but... And they have to fire straight ahead. So, so be it. Um, but they can do it. So they'll fire an infer inferior volley into the first Royals. Inferior volley. Six. It's going to be one. An inferior volley. Yeah, one casualty. So... Now the next lot of shooting will be the French skirmishers at the Brunswick line and then the artillery assault fire. So the French skirmishers. So the skirmishers first, it's just one CD at the line. Six, well, that's a hit. Now the assault fire. Okay, artillery assault fire. They're not going to engage in that counter battery nonsense. Instead, they will fire at effective range into these Dutch Belgian columns. So this battery will shoot at this one. This battery will shoot at this one. So they're all going to fire at this battalion and the bounce throughs will go through onto these chaps. They get two CDs. So we'll, the CD will be the purple. So for the first battery, um, they're not large batteries. They're on assault fire, so they get two CDs. Got that. No casual. Well, they've got three casualties on them, but that's okay. Um, uh, columns at close range, so that's another CD.
that's it. Okay, so the first one, the purple dice of the CDs. One, two, three hits on the CDs, and then a four. So a four is nothing but the three CDs. Well, that's three hits. So three hits so far. And then the next battery. Three, four hits. Because that's another CD. And a five is one. So three hits, then four hits, five hits. Okay. So five hits on that. Those guys there. And then two lots of bounce through onto them. Four plus, one hit. That takes them up to 14. I think, I think that does them, I think one more hit and they're gonna go pop. But there's nowhere else for them to go. Um, and finally, the French skirmishes over in the tree line. Oh, well, they're against cocked. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, so no hits there. So that's all the shooting done. So now we're into melee. So the only melee that happened was here. Melen and these lancers going toe to toe. Neither will have any supports. Both have three casualties. Let's go through it. Okay. Um, elite infantry. So they've both got five dice to start with. No heavy cavalry. Form lancers versus cavalry. So one for these guys so far. Plus one. Um, they've got a general attached, so that's plus two. That's it. Seven dice to five. Let's work that out. Okay, seven to five. French of the black dice, as usual. Hitting on fours. So they got one, two. They've got two hits. They've got three hits. Okay, so beaten by one. Cavalry versus cavalry. Uh, winner takes the ground, loser retreats. Okay, so the winner takes the ground and the loser retreats. So two hits on these guys, so they'll go up to five. Three hits on those guys, so they'll go up to six. Retreat, but cavalry is 21. So, these guys take the ground, they'll end up there. These guys will retreat. They go, first six inches, they burst through them. Um, they go unformed, but then they can weave through these guys. They end up back there. Wrist to Milan. Seven, no, he's okay. No hit on him. And these lancers will take the ground. Um, and that's all the melees, and that is the end of turn 11, so we now move on to turn 12.
So we're up to turn 12. Um, hey, I, I know I, I keep saying it, but just in case you miss, um, seven dice each, uh, three plus, you get an ADC, except for this red dice, which represents uh, the ADC from Cram's Brigade that's off table. The blue and red are the allies, the white are the French, looking for three plus. All right, so I don't know if you can see that fully. There we go. So the allies have one, two, three, four, five. The French have one, two, three, four, five. There's a double six. So they go up to six. So it's six to five. Not that that seems to help. The allies seem to not get in the initiative every time anyway. All right. ADC allocations. Let's get it on. Okay, so the allies, uh, they're five um, ADCs. Um, they've given two to shore up this demoralized brigade. They've given uh, one to can uh uh, Kemp, one to Billiant, and one uh, to um, the Brunswick Light Infantry Brigade. So that's their five. One, two, three, four, five. For the French, we're going to do something bold. We're going to give a glory attachment to um, Wathier, but no re-roll. Um, we're going to give... Uh, Another ADC, just a, a re-roll to uh, Hubert, uh, a re-roll to Campy, and three um, on the artillery for an artillery assault again. All right, so uh, that's that. Now we'll roll for, um, to see who does what. So first of all, we're going to roll for the We'll roll for the French first, this time. So let's start. Where shall we start? Let's start with... Um, the years. No re-roll, but glory. Five. He's good. Um, let's move back now. Let's go Hubert with a re-roll. He's good. i got a three. Um, Foy's Brigade, six, he's good. Um, Soy's Brigade, no re-roll, two, he's gone hesitant. Well, that had to happen, didn't it? So, Soy's hesitant. Probably should have given him a re-roll. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Campy's Brigade over yonder. But he's got a re-roll. Six. He's good. Um, the Carassiers. They're good. Got a four. Uh, Bashu in the woods. He's gone hesitant. So that's two hesitant brigades for the French. And finally, the artillery assault with a re-roll. They're good. Okay, so the French have two hesitant brigades. Now let's roll for the Allies. Okay, so now Saxe-Weimar with a re-roll. Three. Um, the, that's a demoralized brigade and on a three and their recruits um, demoralized brigade their recruit level of three would be retire um, we're gonna re-roll that and hope to get better than a three it's a four so four is rally the brigade successfully uh, rallies retreating but rallied units disperse remove falter marker and marcus hasn't for this turn well they're hesitant, 
So that's that's a hesitant brigade. Not surprising when you're demoralised. Okay. Uh, Kemp with a re-roll. They're fine. Now we'll roll for Pack. He doesn't have a re-roll. He's fine. Now we'll roll for... Um, the Brunswick Light Infantry with a re-roll. Oh, they went hesitant. So that's a he another hesitant brigade for... Merlin's Brigade. They're fine. Um, now we'll roll for Billiant with a re-roll. He doesn't need it. He's fine. And now we'll roll for the Brunswick Line Infantry without a re-roll. Hesitant. Okay. So that is another hesitant brigade. So the difference is three hesitant to two hesitant. All right, plus one for the French then. So now we're gonna roll French of the blue. Well, 12. That's uh, the, the, the French have the initiative. Charge declarations. So charge declarations. Um, Wathier is going to charge with these uh, lances. Uh, he's going to charge the 44th, who are dis, uh, uh, unformed. Hubert is going to de declare a charge with uh, the chasseurs of Cheval, uh, supported by the first Hazars, against um, the Gordons. And Campy will attach and join this battalion as it charges the Royal Scots. And that's all the charges we can do. And Hubert will attach himself to his chasseurs because he just don't, doesn't want to be outdone by Wathiers. Uh, these French cavalry commanders are dynamite. All right. Um, as for the allies, uh, they've got no charge decks. But what they will do is they will launch a counter charge with these dragoons on these guys trying to intercept them charging the 44th. So they'll have to do a discipline test and see how that pans out. If they pass, they'll cancel out their charge and the charge will then be um, just uh, these dragoons, light dragoons charging these lances. Um, if these guys don't pass, then um, the lances will continue their charge onto the 44th. So the French will, the uh, Allies are declaring an opportunity charge with their dragoons. Um, let's see if they can pull it off. Six. Uh, that's a fail. And they need a seven plus. So they simply go unformed. So the Dragoons won't opportunity charge. Instead, they've, um, they've gone on form. So these guys are charging them. They're veterans. So that's um, plus one. Okay. They're unformed, so that's back to zero, and they've got over 10 casualties on them, so that is a minus two. Minus two. Okay, three. Retreat and lose one D3 casualties. Okay, so they go back six inches. 
So directly back, they have to go through these guys here. And um, I'm being, well actually, they'll hit both of these units if they go, if it's directly away from the charge, so they'll unform both of these units. And then they'll continue on and they'll end up back here with one D3 casualties, which is two, which will take them to 13. Uh, sorry, which will take them to 12, yeah, 13, which wipes them out. Okay, so they've dispersed now. They are no more. So Pax Brigade immediately falters. So I do believe that means that the Lancers can uh, immediately pick a new target within their charge range. Which... Oh, will have to be the... I'm pretty sure they have to go straight ahead. I'll check that. So it'll either be these Ragoons or one of these regiments here. Okay. Okay, so continue charge against other targets within reach. So that would be these guys. So now they'll do, they'll move up to the three inch mark and these guys will then test. So let's do the, uh, the charge here. Okay, we'll start with the Dutch Belgians, so the um, the Light Dragoons. Um, they've got no casualties, so they're classed as line. Uh, the general can't attach because Merlin's all the way back with the, the Hazars. So, um, none of those, they're, they're unformed, so it's a minus two. That's it, they've got a minus two on them. Now, <clears throat> these guys could give traversing fire onto these guys as they go past, so they will. So a square, uh, let me just work out that what that will be. Okay, so it's an optional rule, uh, traversing fire. If a charging unit passes across the face and within nine inches of a formed enemy unit not involved with the charge, then the enemy unit may fire at the charges as they pass. Okay, so... That's basically what's happening. This square is going to fire, traversing fire at them. So it's a superior volley, but because it's a square, it will um, halve the effects. So they're going to fire at them. Six, superior volley six. It's halved, um, so it's one hit. So halve that, and you round down squares firing, so no hits. So the square, as they went flying past the square, they uh, had a shot at them. So they've had a shot at them and um, caused no casualties. So um, let's go through the, the actual charge now. So there's no casualties there. So where were we? Okay, so um, let's work out the Dutch Belgians first. Um, their line, uh, they've got nothing happening there. Uh, they are unformed. So it's a minus two. So they've got a uh, negative two on them. Um, the brigade is not um, uh, hesitant or faltering. So it's just a minus two. Uh, and the lancers, they are promoted to the next grade, so they're classed as veterans, so it's a plus one. Uh, Oh, their carry their cavalry are on a narrower frontage as well, but I won't give that. I won't bother with that. Um, they've got casualties of five, so they're they're at a they're at a zero. So minus two zero. <clears throat> so 
Okay, so it's seven to four. It's a difference of three. Okay, so the attacker will melee with alarm. So they get alarm. And they've got the glory happening as well because of their attached general. And they'll melee unformed. Okay, so we've done that. So this is, I really like this aspect of General Darnay. So basically what's happened is the Lancers have charged the, the 44th, but before they, as they commence their charge, the, the Light Dragoons, uh, the commanding officer says, look, okay, boys, let's, we're going to intercept these these uh, Lancers before they charge down our allies. Um, but they don't. The, there's, they become hesitant. There's, there's confusion in the ranks and the, the Light Dragoons go unformed. Meanwhile, the... the the British infantry in the 44th, they're dispersed by this oncoming charge of lancers. And now the lancers, um, the, you know, the commanding officer of the lancers now says, OK, let's charge onto those dragoons over there. And the dragoons, um, who've seen these infantry just dissolve in front of them and are basically in command paralysis, um, they receive the charge in a disordered manner. And, um, yeah, it, I mean, it's, a, it's very Napoleonic, isn't it? So the next charge we have is Hubert charging the Gordons. So these have to do a discipline test first. Um, it's just a straight roll because they're veterans, but they're unformed. 10, they're fine, they're loving it. So they'll form a square. Hubert's boys move up to within three inches. Well, I don't know if these are going to be able to support them, given the fact that that battery's there. They can charge through a battery, so that's not a problem. It just unforms the battery. Um, <coughs> we shall see. Okay, so let's go through it here. Veterans plus, they are infantry in column or square, so they're plus three, actually. So they're plus three because they're a square, and these guys are simply a plus one. That's all. So plus one, plus three. So these guys have a plus two advantage, a difference of two. All right, so difference of two. The French are the black. Okay. Um, I'm not going to give the French a re-roll, and even if I did, I probably wouldn't do it. So it's 10 to 10, so it's, tw it's a... The infantry win by two. <clears throat> Charge results. Cavalry versus infantry. Mm, zero to two. Cavalry retire. One casualty. Defender stand. Okay, so they retire and suffer one casualty. Okay, who be a, uh, is that a retire? I think I'll do. I think is it a retreat result? They have to. He might have died, but I'll have to check to see if um, if a retire result uh, results in risks to generals. Yeah. So, Hubert has been killed in that charge. Because uh, an 11 is an unsightly demise. So, poor Hubert has died, which means this brigade will falter. So, the great French General Hubert is dispatched by a Highlander. So, the French have a faltering brigade. So, there's only one charge left now, and that is these guys here, so they'll move up to the three inch mark. Um, all right, so they go up to the three inch mark and these guys will fire. So bang. Okay, it's one hit. So six, 
um, even a superior volley. Um, or six would be two. Um, yeah, I can't find anything that says that uh, hasn't. Well, they're not. The brigade's demoralised, um, but even if they were hesitant, that doesn't affect their firing. Um, so, yeah, two hits on them. So that's what they've done. And now we just go through the charge procedure. So let's do the Brits first. Um, they're veterans, so it's a plus one. Um, they're not unformed. Um, but they do have nine casualties, so that's a minus two. The brigade is demoralized, so it's a minus faltering and demoralized, so it's a minus another, it's a minus three. So it's a minus, so it's all up, it's a negative two. So negative two for those guys. Oops, negative two for those guys. And now the French, um, their line um, but their class is veteran, so it's a plus one. Casual, uh, casualties in the charge, two, so it's another, so it's a, back down to zero and uh, five casualties, minus one. So they have a minus one. So all up, it's a difference of one in the favor of the French. So the French have a plus one to their dice roll. Uh, no supports. The Brits have a support to their right. So the Brits can re-roll one of their dice. The Brits are the purple dice. So that's a result of nine to six so far in favour of the French. So the Royal Scots re-roll the one and that produces a four, um, nine all. So the result now is nine to nine, but the French have a plus one. So I'll load it up to 10. So the French win by one. And a victory by one on the charge result table. Um, infantry versus infantry. Attacker Malay with Alan. And the, the defender Malay, will Malay unformed. Okay, and now we're up to movement. So for the French, uh, they have initiative, so they will move first. Okay, so let's get some movement done. Okay, so the only movement in the Allied ranks was um, this battalion of light infantry moves across this way a bit because if things go pear-shaped, they don't want to be involved in any uh, any kerfuffle here. Um, uh, Slim Bill is going to move over there. Um, Pack. All right. That's that. So now we're up to the shooting phase and we'll start at this side and move our way around. We'll start with the artillery assault. So that battery is going to fire at the same target as before. They're going to pour it in over here. Okay, so these batteries here shooting at this guy here. Um, Two casualty dice because it's an artillery assault. Um, 
and it is effective range battery fire effective range okay first battery firing one this takes them up to six and then eight another two so he's now up to eight and now the next battery will fire another one from the CD dice so that takes him up to nine and then a seven at effective range battery fire effective range another one so ten Two lots of bounce through onto them. One hit. Um, that wipes them out. So with the 27th Jaeger's demise, they belong to Billions Brigade. They're faltering. Right. Um, skirmish fire. Um, Skirmish dice in here at the avant-garde. Nope. A skirmish fire across the stream at the avant-garde. One hit. Two skirmishes here shooting at them. It's one dice. Oh, is it two? No hits anyway. So the horse artillery battery here can shoot at these guys here. Um, it's effective range so they're firing at a square so they get two CDs at effective range one hit plus seven at effective is another one so two hits on the square um, and that's all the firing for the French. Okay, so um, now the Allies firing. They've already fired. Um, these guys here shooting at the column. Okay, they're at three inches, but they're not fresh. So it's going to be a inferior volley, though they are a large regiment, so they'll get a, a casualty dice. Um, Bum, bum, bum. So they'll shoot. So um, they're a large battalion line, so they get one CD, but they have six casualties, so it's a minus two. Um, and they are recruits, so it's a minus two on the inferior volley table. So that's a seven. That's a miss. So a seven on the inferior volley table is one hit. So that'll take them up to... Six casualties all up. Um, they have a line here firing. Um, and they'll be firing at skirmishes. Um, is the column too far away? It is. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to give them that. Well, they're hesitant. They have to fire straight ahead. Do they want to fire at skirmishes? No, the battery will fire. All right, they're not gonna fire. So now they'll fire at the battery. So it's canister fire, uh, two CDs, but with a minus, a minus two. Okay, so the purple dice are the CDs. One hit. Oh, I'll roll that one again. Seven minus two is five. Close range artillery fire. Five. One hit. So two hits all up. So one M one.
Okay. Uh, now the skirmishers in the woods, shooting at the French skirmishers. Okay. Here, not, and here. Oh. No. Okay. So, that's all the firing done. Malays. So let's do this cavalry Malay first. Let's go through it. Um, looking at the French first, uh, they're not heavy cavalry, they're form lances versus cavalry. So they get an extra dice. So they've gone from five. So everyone starts with five, so they're up to six now. Um, attached general with glory. Yes. So they'll go up to seven. Um, are they a grade above their opponents? Uh, no, they are not. They are milling with Alan, so they'll get another one. Casualties, they have five, so they're going to lose one. Um, they're not unformed, and that's it. Now let's look at um, the Dutch Belgian Light Dragoons. They're just standard light cavalry. Um, they're not a large unit, they're not a small unit. They don't have an attached general. They're not meleeing with alarm. They don't have any casualties. They're unformed, so they'll be down to four dice. Um, that's it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven versus four. So it's seven dice versus four. Black of the French. One, two hits. Versus one, two, three... They've beaten by one. Um, Carry versus Carry defeated by one in the lay result table. Um, Carry so uh, the winner takes the ground and the loser retreats. So three casualties on them. Um, two casualties on these guys. So they'll go up to a grand total of seven now. Twenty one inches back. Eighteen plus another two. Right. They're all the way back here. And now Milan's brigade is faltering also because they have lost they have two units retreating. So one more Malay to go, this one here, uh, and if we go through it, we shall see. Um, so we have, um, let's look at the French first. Um, they are not a large unit. Um, they have a general attached, but he's not, he doesn't have glory, so there's nothing there. Um, they are melaying with Alan, so it's five plus one, so that's six for them so far. So six for the French so far. Uh, casualties, they have five, so they're gonna lose one. Uh, and nothing else is going for them. Um, now for the Royal Scots, they start off with five. They're a morale grade higher, so they'll go up to six. They have nine casualties, so at eight plus they lose two, so they're down to four. 
They are unformed, so they lose another one. And that's it. So it's going to be five to three. French of the black again. <laughs> you know what? That is pretty amazing because yet again, the Royal Scots have beaten off um, the enemy. That doesn't sound right. I'm sure they've beaten off a few enemies in their time, but, but at the moment, they've just basically um, stood their ground. Um, they take the ground and the loser retreats. Risk to general because Campy was involved. Uh, he's fine. But the those guys will retreat. Um, well done, the Royal Scots. Because um, what that means now is... Um, These boys here will have to retreat, um, and an infantry retreat is um, 18 inches for the first six inches, so they'll unform them, and they'll end up all the way back there again. So that ends turn 12, and the situation for the Allies now is really, really grim. They have one demoralised brigade. They have one faltering demoralized brigade uh two faltering demoralized three so sorry they've got three um faltering brigades and one that's demoralized so th that's pretty grim the french have one brigade that's faltering so let's roll to see how many adcs we get okay um, these will be the French um, dice. These will be the allied dice. Red for the off-table fellow. He needs a five or a six. This is going to be absolutely crucial for the allies. Let's see what we get. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, four each. But um, the f mm, yeah, okay. Let's do this. So, Sax Sax Weimar needs one. Pack needs one. Um, Billy Ant needs one. And uh, Merlin needs one. No one else is going to get one. So let's roll for them. We'll start with um, Sax Weimar. Five. Demoralised Brigade. Rolls five, no re rolls allowed. Um, they're recruits. Well, they're obeying orders. Let's roll for pack three. They have to retire. Okay, so that's a retire result for him. So retire. Retreating a rally units disperse, all remaining units immediately retire. All close order units lose one casualty. Okay. And skirmish loot. Okay, so they're going to retire and take a casualty. So they're now up to 11. They can take one more and then they go pop. So you can guess where the artillery is going to fire next. Billy Ant's Brigade. This is uh, pretty critical because they're... Um, yeah. Ah, okay. Um, they are a recruit. Savoie 
So they just completely dissolve. So they're all gone. Uh, basically what happens here is the brigade loses ADC permanently. Current retreating or routed units disperse. Skirmish line disperse. All remaining units, cavalry and artillery brigade units retreat, lose two casualties. So that will throw them all the way back to here, onto the hill. Um, Merlin's brigade. Three. They're at recruit level now. A retire, so that takes them off the board. So they're gone. Um... So that just leaves uh, these chaps here. They're okay. Um, the Brunswick Lights, they're okay. And Kemp's Brigade, they're okay. Okay. Um, at this point, there's really no point. Um, I'm going to give two ADCs to the faltering brigade. Two, I'll re roll it. Four. Um, four, four, four. They're just veterans and lines, so they rally. Um, I think at this point, we shall call it a victory for the. Um, allies so um, I think we'll wrap it up there there's absolutely no way the um, the allies can hold on at this point the situation is uh, as it stands at the moment um, the Dutch Belgians have retired all the way back to here and are faltering because when they took another casualty one of the units simply evaporated so they they're down to um, three battalions um, they've lost um, two the 27th Jaeger and uh, I think it's the seventh line or might have been the fifth um, the Brunswickers are still in good uh, shape um, they still have their three line battalions and the avant-garde um, but Pax Brigade is reduced to one battalion and it's faltering and demoralized um, Sax Weimar's brigade is re reduced to one battalion and it's demoralized. Uh, Merlin's cavalry has fled off the table. Uh, Kemp's brigade is still okay. Um, but to win the scenario, um, the, uh, the French need to inflict four savoir um, res uh, results. Uh, so four brigades need to basically be fleeing. They've lost... Um, one straight off the table, and these guys are going to go uh, not much longer. Um, <laughs> these guys are going to go, and in all probability, these guys will go um, because they only need one more hit uh, to go pop. And as you can see, there's a horse artillery battery here about ready to fire. Um, these guys have got six casualties on them, and the entire French left wing bearing down on them. Um, and here you can see that the the, the two French brigades here of Bashul's campies are in fairly good nick um, and the Carassas have no casualties at all so it would simply be a case of over the next five turns um, blasting the hell out of these guys oh, they won't be there they'll have retired with um, with these chaps So, yeah, uh, the Allied Army is basically just in a huddled mass here. And um, indeed, the French might lose another brigade of cavalry um, if these guys get shot to shreds. Um, but if they have the initiative, um, oh, they could uh, maybe charge these skirmish. Well, they could charge these, or they could just simply get the hell out of Dodge. Who knows? Um, and the French still have not used their command um, role yet, whereupon Ney could um, 
take two hits off each of these battalions back here. Um, so, yep, we'll wrap it up there. Uh, really interesting scenario. I don't think the French really um, seemed all that troubled um, at all. Um, and I don't think the Allies ever really seemed to be on the front foot. They seemed to be having to to react the whole time. And I, I think the problem is um, having a bit of a, you know, trying to defend in here when I think really on reflection, and this is just me armchairing it now, is if they um, had de defended more forward and... Um, Maybe on this ridge line here, um, so all through here, the woods, and along that ridge line there. And yes, except that the two front brigades might get rolled over, but it will give plenty of time for, um, well, not plenty of time, but it might have bought enough time for these quality British brigades to get into the fight. And certainly some additional cavalry would have probably helped. Um, but that's it. We'll wrap it up there. And... Uh, if you enjoyed this, let me know. And if you think there are things we could do better, again, let me know. I, I, I won't be offended um, at all. And um, that's it for now, guys. Thanks very much. Catch you on the flip side. You look away.